Good morning all. Right, next up this morning um, are a couple of drones inspired by the Inspire. I know, you can make it up, could you? Right, okay, the first one we're going to have a look at is the XD1 drone. What a tiny little thing this is. Um, you can clearly see it takes its inspiration from the Inspire. As usual, you get a Wi-Fi operating app guide. Uh, this is Flow, I think. Pretty sure, yeah. Um, so, just download it onto your phone and you can hook up to the, um, the Wi-Fi. Uh, it's a tiny, brushed motor drone. The camera, I can't see, is uh, adjustable at all. You just have to accept it as it is. As it is. Um, this one came with three batteries and I wanted to show you this. The actual transmitter doubles as a storage for those batteries. Uh, the battery, the batteries are three AA, uh, which you need to power the transmitter. Right, so we place that locking mechanism in there. Hopefully, is that going? Right, that goes in that way, and you lock, it, and you lock it thus. Um, you get a very good instruction sheet with this as well. Uh, it's, it comes in multi-language, uh, uh, so you get a bit of Spanish there, and you get some other language there, which I'm not quite familiar with. Um, a very good diagram of the functions of the transmitter. Uh, one key calibration, all very good. Yep, that's fantastic. Uh, emergency landing. One key takeoff. Uh, this one is headless mode. I certainly won't be using that one. Okay, so you have your fine tu tuning buttons for forward, reverse, left, and right too. And on the shoulder buttons, it says here you've got one touch for your flip if you want to do stunts and all that sort of thing. And this button on here, that's for your speed. Uh, it doesn't say how many speeds. It's either two or three. So let's begin by turning the drone on, there's a little power switch down here and that's flashing away we turn the transmitter on and that light's gone solid up and down to bind, no? let's get that aerial out of the way ok, that's flashing, so we'll do uh, which one was the uh, one key calibration okay so that flashed for a few seconds now it's saying that's uh, all calibrated now the table may not be wholly um, wholly flat but we'll we'll take it for what it is right so next thing we need to do go into our settings and we're going to see if we can find this wi-fi signal which hopefully according to this is going to be flow then your number of your drone there we go. So you'll get flow, then this number here will relate to your individual drone. Okay, that's saying that's connected, so we can come out of there. And we need to find our flow. I think it's uh, Wi Fi UAV, it's going to be. Let's have a look. We we'll press yes on that. Hopefully, let's come up with that number. Right, so there's three speeds on here we can try. Uh, right. It's a shame, I was hoping to get some video. Um, these things always work quite well in the house, but when you actually get out in the field, sometimes it's a different matter. Right. It's going back a little bit, so there's a little bit of trim needed. Yeah, what a tiny little thing that is.
shame the Wi-Fi is not working. So what we could do, uh, let's come out the sun and see if this flip function works, shall we? Let's gain, gain some height. Well, left and right. No, it only works on left and right, it doesn't work Yeah, it works just once on left and right flips. So um, there's no forward or back flips. So this, once again, it's, it's not hobby grade, it's toy grade. But having said that, it's gonna be a lot of fun for someone, isn't it? Okay, let's take it down into rate one. Yeah, there is a little bit of wind. Uh, it's still making relatively good headway against it. Up to rate two. And you can see it's a li little bit faster there. Wow. That picked up some speed. Let's try the uh, automatic landing. Okay, what I'll do, um, I'll see if I can get the Wi-Fi working. If I do get the Wi-Fi working, I'll upload the footage onto the end of this video. Uh, what we do now is we'll have a look at this, which is a KS66, which has had far more reviews. Uh, than this little thing um, that is this is probably maybe just bordering on hobby grade as well although it's Brussels motors anyway right I'll see you shortly for the uh, review on the KS66 as I mentioned if I do get uh, the Wi-Fi working on this with another battery I'll um, upload it on the end of this video until the next video see you shortly bye bye